In this video, let's learn about pre-rendering dynamic routes. In our application, we currently have slash products, which is a list of three products. And when you click on an individual product, we see the product details page. This is a dynamic route where the product ID can be one, two, or three. Let's start this video by first pre-rendering the products list page. All we have to do is in page.js present in products folder, export const pre-render is equal to true. If we now run npm run build and inspect the output folder within pre-rendered pages, we have products.html. This contains the list of three products as you can see, slash one, slash two, and slash three. This is the HTML that is served when you navigate to slash products in the build application. This of course is something we've already learned in the previous two videos. Now let's try to pre-render the individual product ID dynamic route. Once again, the page option remains the same. In product ID folder, Within page.server.js, export const pre-render is equal to true. I want you to now pause for a minute and try think about this. We are asking SwelteKit to pre-render the product ID page, but we haven't really told what the product ID might be. Should it pre-render product ID is equal to one, two, or 1000? Well, let's try build the app and see what happens. npm run build. To our surprise, the build succeeds without any errors. And if I inspect the pre-rendered folder within output, within pages, we now have a products folder. Within this folder, we have HTML for product ID one, two, and three. Now, how did SwellKit figure out which dynamic routes to pre-render? Well, it turns out SwellKit actually crawls through the different routes to identify which dynamic routes need to be pre-rendered. When the products page is pre-rendered, it sees there are three product ID links and the product ID route has pre-render set to true. So it will go ahead and pre-render product details page where ID is equal to one, two, and three. This is the default behavior, which can always be configured. Let me show you how to change it. In the project folder, within svelte.config.js file, under kit, we add a new option. Pre-render, which is an object. Here, by default, crawl is set to true and entries is set to every route. We can configure this entries property to reflect only the necessary routes. Let's leave crawl to true and change entries to just the home route. In the terminal, run npm run build. Now, if we take a look at the output pre-rendered folder, pages, we have index.html, products.html, and one, two, and three.html corresponding to the three links. So entries is an array of pages to pre-render, and if crawl is set to true, it is also the list of pages from where SwelteKit has to crawl for other pages marked with pre-render is equal to true. With this config right here, the home page gets pre-rendered, and since crawl is set to true, products page gets pre-rendered. Since the products page has links to product ID pages, we have product ID one, two, and three also pre-rendered. Let's now set crawl to false, and the entries array home page slash products page 
slash products slash one and slash products slash two. If we now run npm run build, we have a problem because I forgot the forward slash at the beginning. Save the file, run npm run build, and inspect the pre-rendered folder. So output, pre-rendered, pages. We have index.html, which is the root page, products.html for slash products, and within products folder, we just see 1.html and 2.html. There is no crawling and slash products slash three is not part of the increase array, which is why we don't see that file here. Hopefully, you now have an understanding of how to pre-render dynamic routes in SwellKit. We have one final detail to cover about pre-rendering, so let's do that in the next video.